Martin was an interesting person. He was very committed to, to the cause of justice. He was committed to the church and to good relationships between the brothers and the sisters. So, and he was very informed and intelligent. So it was easy to have many moments that you could recall. But uh, I remember on a number of occasions he would think about uh, very seriously his life and his work, and he was being shadowed and harassed, and and occasionally he would say, Joe, I don't think I'll live to be 40. And I would say, oh, come on, man, you're going you're gonna to live with a bit of beard reaching down to the floor. You'll live a long time, no question about it. But he was right. He died at 39. And um, he, uh, but he never let fear of death uh, disturb his momentum. He stayed focused and he stayed committed and he took chances. He lived daringly. I think that I would encourage people to look around and see uh, who's not enjoying all the benefits that we all ought to be enjoying in this country. Who are the poor? Uh, how can we fill the gaps? How can we meet the needs of those who are the least of these? Because that's where uh, Martin died, uh, fighting for garbage workers, sanitation workers in Memphis. Uh, they were among the least of these, not in terms of the work they did, but in terms of the earnings they had. No such thing as menial work. They got menial pay, but their work was very important. If you don't think garbage is important, let them not pick it up for a few days and see, see what happens to your neighborhood. But I would encourage people to look around and find places where they can spend, not, not just on the holiday, but after the holiday. Where can they enlist that can help the most people and help people who need help the most? Uh, I think that would be a great service uh, to Martin and would make Martin very happy.